In this video, we'll be exploring how to create separate headphone mixes inside of Mixcraft using output tracks. Before we begin, it's important to note that to use output tracks to route audio to multiple destinations, you'll need an audio interface or mixer that features multiple outputs. Output tracks allow you to create new output destinations from your session, making them ideal for sending out multiple headphone mixes, multi-monitor setups, using hardware processing, or even just grouping signals to a single fader setup for easier mixing. In this session, let's say we have one vocalist, one guitarist, and one drummer in our live room. Although this sounds like a setup to a great joke, they're instead standing there complaining that the headphone mixes aren't correct. If everybody wants their own headphone mix with different blends of each of these signals, we can utilize sends and output tracks to create this. Let's go to the bottom and open up our mixer to get started, and expand this just so we can see what we're working with. As you can see here, I've created the session with a vocal track, two guitar tracks, and two tracks for the drums. With that in mind, these are all the final tracks we want to record, and we're going to record them all at the same time. But, each of these represents a different musician who wants their own unique headphone mix. To get things started, let's right-click on our mixer, go to Insert Track, and then Send Track. And we'll right-click on that send, and duplicate it two times. Now that we've created our sends, let's rename them to keep them organized. We'll rename them Vocal Headphone, Guitar Headphone, and Drum Headphone. To make things easier and a bit more visual, let's right-click on our guitar headphone and change the color to match the guitar tracks, and do the same with our drums here. Now, in order to send out the different headphone mixes, we'll need to create output tracks. To do that, we'll right-click on our mixer, go to Insert Track, and select Output Track. Then, we'll right-click the output track and duplicate it twice. Once again, in the spirit of keeping things organized, we'll rename this as Vocal Headphone Mix, Guitar Headphone Mix, and Drum Headphone Mix. Now that we've got these named, let's go in and color code them once again to match their respective output, and we'll click on the drums and change the color as well. Finally, to make things nice and neat here, let's go up and reorganize these so that they match their outputs. So we'll move this vocal headphone mix up here, and we're done. Now these tracks all line up nice and neat in our mixer. To begin sending the signals, we'll first need to route the sends to their respective output. To do that, we'll go up here to the top and change the vocal send output to the vocal headphone mix. Then we'll go to the guitar headphone send and send that to the guitar headphone mix, and then finally do the same for the drums. We'll change the drum send to the drum headphone mix. Now that we've routed this, we'll need to route our headphone mixes to their individual outputs. To finalize this, we'll go to our headphone mix tracks and send these out to the appropriate destinations. We'll set the vocalist as stereo out 1 and 2, We'll set the guitar player here to 3 and 4, and then we'll set the drum headphones here to 5 and 6. So now from my mixer interface, everyone is getting their own unique headphone blend. To begin utilizing this, we'll use our send knobs on our mixer here. Let's begin by saying that the vocalist wants quite a bit of their vocals, a little bit of guitar, and not very much drums. Now, let's say our guitar player wants a little bit of vocal, they want quite a bit of their guitar, and maybe just a little bit of drums as well, just a bit more than we're sending to the vocalist. Finally, the drummer wants a little bit of vocal, a lot of guitar, and then just a touch of themselves to keep everything in time. And now that we've routed everything appropriately, we have three individual headphone mixes. If we go to our vocal track here and add a noise generator, which is going to be a little unpleasant to listen to, but you keep an eye on the faders down here on the right-hand side, you'll see that the vocal mix is independent, As you can probably imagine, the same concept can be applied to send signals to hardware processors or effects units, multi-monitor systems, or even be used for live performance routing with Mixcraft, making output tracks a powerful tool to understand. By now, you should be able to create an output track and headphone mix, as well as understand the different case uses of output tracks inside of Mixcraft. And that does it for this video, so thanks for watching.